Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing a live stream. Live stream seven, indeed. Marvelous. Oh, I am in pain, as usual. There we are. Oh, God. Sorry, I've just got a bite about everything. <laughs> Hello, Christoph. What's happening? Uh, not entirely sure what I'm going to talk about tonight. I was just feeling like venting spleen on YouTube. Excuse me. Uh, sorry. I don't know how, I'll, how long I'll be on tonight because I am a little bit tired. I won't lie to you. Oh. I'm just going to wait until... Hello, everyone. I'll say hello individually in a second as soon as I get my life sorted out. 12 people already. Hi. Does everyone like the air? Uh, does everyone like the, um, the, what do you call it? The, um, thumbnail. It's a fluffy cow. That is what happened. El Pato. El Sanch. How are you doing? Is it lunchtime where you are? You must be on the west coast. Yes, the west coast. I got me, uh, I got me coasts mixed up a little bit there. Um, has everyone seen the? Uh, has everyone seen the uh, the thumbnail? That is what happens apparently when you shampoo a cow. <laughs> I saw that picture. I thought, I don't know what that is. That's a thumbnail for a stream. That um, apparently the prop. I like the prop. I fluff up. Moo. That's right. Hello, Bashki. Is it Bashki or just Bashk? Moo. That's right. Well said. Um. But yes, apparently you can't. Like there are like farmers out there who shampoo their cows. I like the smell of that thumbnail. I would like the smell. I wonder what kind of uh, I wonder what kind of um shampoo they used on it. I know, right? This, this is outrageous. So a few years ago, I used to get dry hands. Um uh, and me, me, like I was trying all these different moisturizers, right? I'll see if I can find it. I'm sure I've still got it. Right. I was trying all these different kinds of moisturizers. And my mate kept going on at us for ages, right? I can't find this. It's not here. That is a shame. Um, that is a proper shame because it'd be fucking hilarious if you saw it. But my mate was adamant. He was like, "Let us sort it out. Let us let us get you, let us get you something." And he was like, "Just try it." And I was like, "No, I'm fucking been the doctors. I've been the fucking." I've been everywhere. I've been trying this, doing this, that, and the other. Nothing's worked. And he was like, fuck off. He was like, let us get this stuff for you and try it, right? And I was like, right, fine, solid. I was at a, I was at a, I was, at a, I was desperate. I was a desperate duck. And he got us it and he came and gave us it. And it came in this fucking outrageous, it came in this outrageous tube. And it was black and white. But like the black and white were like in like random blobs. And I was like, what is this? And I turned it over and looked at it. He'd only give us something called cow's udders cream, right? And it was, right? It was it was this moisturizer that farmers had had um farmers had had um made, like a farmer had made it, right, for their for their the cow's udders, which were really dry. And um he was like, Yeah, try this. And I was like, Are you mad? And he was like, no, try it. And I tried it on my hands and it worked. It was literally, it was like days. Cow's udder cream. Absolutely outrageous. I was buzzing. As you can imagine. Look, see, look it up. Cow's udder, cow's udder moisturizer. It's a real thing. Um... And the salad now, it's like it's like being approved for humans and everything like that. But it was originally made by farmers or a farmer for cow's udders. 
I'm looking over here for it, but it's not here. I don't know why. I'm, oh, fuck. I'm causing more damage than I'm, than I'm sorting out. Let's see if I can find it. Cows of that cream. Am ah, amazing. Really good stuff. So how is everyone? On Wednesday, I was going to put a video out. I like to do stream video, stream video. Um, stream video, stream video. But, oh, I've been bad. Bag bomb, right? It's not. It's not bag bomb. In the green tin. No, it's not. Um, it's not called bag bomb, Christy. It's called cows are cream. Cows are moisturizer. Doing good. No work to do. Thank God. Oh, that sounds nice. I've uh, I've just been knackered the day. I had the, one of the worst nights for not being able to sleep last night I've, I've ever had. I was in pain. I had to help. Um, so yesterday, my um, Adam D. Hello, mate. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it uh, might be different in the states, Christy. Um, Bashki. Is Bashki how you say it? No, I had to help bring the... Uh, I got my new unit, my new storage solution, um, where I'm going to put my overflows in. Um, and I am going to, like, put all my, like, um, my backup, like, loads of backups in and stuff like that. Um, and I had to help him bring it up the stairs, and I suffered for that, like... I suffered for that remorselessly yesterday. The oh, six o'clock in the morning, I was so ill with it. Literally couldn't get comfortable at all. Made it. Um, oh, one more. The dog is here. Um, I have suffered with that. I was in pain. I won't lie to you. It was grim. And then, because like as well, last night I wanted to stay up for Eugene's stream, which started at ten p.m. here. So what I did was, I, what did I did was, what I did was, I didn't take me, me tablets that I take at night, right, before Eugene's stream, because I wanted to watch it all. We obviously, I couldn't remember whether I'd actually taken them or not by the time it got to the end of his stream. So I was like, oh, best not take them, just in case I've already taken some. I could, because I couldn't remember whether I'd taken them. I've now come to the conclusion that I hadn't taken them. So I was like, I was just in pain and I couldn't get to sleep. Um, and that's that's what happened. I was up till about six o'clock, at which point I, uh, at which point I thought, sod it, I don't care, I've already taken them. <laughs> Check some more. The shop was outrageous. It was outrageous, wasn't it? It was really good. Ah, Christy, don't worry about it. It ebbs and flows. It ebbs and flows. Um, yesterday was just a particularly, a particularly potent, particularly potent day. Do you have the sciatic pain? I do have the sciatic pain. That's one of many pains I have. I'm not here to talk about pain. Sick of talking about pain. I've talked about pain all day. It's all about perfume. Mind you, some perfumes are painful. I told you what happened to us when I uh, when I put on eight sprays of both at London's Rake and Ruin. I nearly finished us off that, but I was a dead duck. Excuse me whilst I hydrate for the first time this evening. Oh, that's good hydration. I recommend such hydration to you. Ah, I drank a lot of water today. What have I eaten today? Nerve pain is supposed to be awful. I'm sorry, Rich. Uh, I've got good. I've got good pain management stuff in place. If you could see the arsenal that I've got, you would. Uh, it's all right. It's okay. That I've always said, if I was going to have this disease, 2022 is the best time to have it, um, because of all the all the treatment available options that are available. You know. If it was 100, 200, 300 years ago, 500 years ago, 1,000 years ago, I've got gabapentin, just so I say three times a day. It's good stuff. It's a nerve blocker. 
I don't think I'd be able to walk around if I didn't have that. Um, I'm probably going to have to have a arthroscopy where they go in and have a look at your hip and stuff and then mm, they might want to shave some off. Damn, yeah, they hear statements like absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Well, depending on what I smell, there's a very good chance uh, that you will hear said statements. Have you talked to Ben at Talking Sense about Rake and Ruin? Yes. Yes, I'm aware. That's where I found out about both at London. And I got lots of samples from Bloom. This was years ago. And I smelled loads of them and I thought, Rake and Ruin's probably the one that I like the most because it's got the juniper in it. Um, so that's the one I bought. It was good. Oh, it was good. It was more than good. It was fantastic. There aren't any particular scents I want to talk about tonight. I just thought I would come on here and just have a bit witter on me. I saw Eugene. We could talk about what you, some of the stuff that Eugene saw yesterday. Um, he was talking about this obsession. Vintage obsession for men with the gold, with the gold. I have a splash, which is this, and I have a spray. I'm interested to know what you think I should use first. I've got the splash out. I haven't started using it yet, though, you know. Um... I might do some lavenders. I might do some lavender like videos or a video about lavender soon. Just to like, just getting ready for like spring and summer, you know. I still need to do my most worn of the autumn and winter 21 22. Oh, B complex vitamin salt, the sciatic pen, it relaxes the muscles. Thank you, Enrique. I will, um, I'll bear it in mind, I already take vitamins. I take vitamin C, vitamin D3, cod liver oil, and an antihistamine every day. Someone has sent me a message, and I don't know what it says. Boffed them out of the way. Yikes. This person clearly doesn't know that I am on stream. And he just picked up Zeno and adore it. It is good, isn't it? I don't know where mine is. I think mine's lurking about somewhere. Oh, my wrist. I'm still enjoying Coros Fraser on a daily basis, mate. I'm not surprised. It's fantastic. I haven't worn it yet. Um, what did I wear today? I wore Eau Sauvage Parfum. Excuse me. Sorry. I wore Eau Sauvage Parfum. Ah, Catherine just got Sheep Rapalatan Duck, man. Sheep Rapalatan Duck, man. Does that mean it's like the male version of Sheep, Pal Sheep Rapalatan Duck? Just received Balenciaga Poor Arm. It is great, isn't it? Something to do with Vetiver Tonka. I wore that the other day and really enjoyed it. That's a really good fragrance. Spring, summer, autumn, all the way. A little bit too green for um, for winter, but uh, if you were going to wear one fragrance all year round, Vetiver Tonka, you, you could definitely get away. If you were going to do like, if I was going to do like a, like a five or a tenth, Signature scent fragrances that are like different from like the usual crowd. Signature scent worthy. Um, then Vetiver Tonka is one of them for men or women. It's fabulous. Oh, dear me. Sorry, I'm just yawning. Sheep Rapalatan, I'm loving that thing. Three, three sprays and you have a lot of fun. 
I sold my Chorus Freysher. I prefer the original. I think I prefer the original over the two, but Chorus Freysher is brilliant. Like, just got Frederick Mon the Wire piece. Really good, underrated. I would agree. What's up, scumbags? Valentino Vendetta. I don't know what I've done with my Valentino Vendetta. Oh, Catherine's got a Kitos. Catherine, have you got a Kitos on the way? Eugene was saying it was like, um, he said he sprayed it and he thought it was like poisons, like younger brother. And I was like, what? Or like poisons, like son. I thought, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, the Hermes Essence have got really good um, performance on me as well, actually. I'll tell you what I nearly wore today. And, and I'm looking forward to wearing it, but I might wait until it warms up a little bit. You know, Jazz, Jazz, Jazz Prestige. Should I take that 200 USD pull on eBay? Um, probably, Omar. It's a good deal, that. Just make sure it's real. Um, it's a good deal, that. Is it full? Is it unused? Is it used? I got myself a, a partial. I got like a 98 mil partial. Somebody bought it and must have just hated it. So I thought, ooh, if you don't like it, I'll have it. Paid about 160 quid for me. It's about what I'm paying for a, a litre of fuel at the minute. Dear me. Price of fuel's gone up about 30% in the last fucking three weeks. Oh, dear. Certainly feels like it's gone up 30%. Oh, my goodness. Why? Why am I yawning so much? 35 people are watching. Welcome, 35 people. Say I don't think Sycamore's is as, as suited to being a... Sycamore's not as suited to being a... Signature as better of a Tonkner, in my opinion. Oh, good night, Christoph. Have a nice night. I hope you sleep better than I did. I'm sure you will. Because you're dehydrated. That's a good shout. Jean-Amique, perfumer behind Obsession, says his father told him that the perfume industry is extremely bitchy and would be better without perfumers. Ooh. That's anything like where you've got stuff like that going, you know, like competitiveness and 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 like luxury and art is like artistic sort of like the artistic sort of temperament, you know, all that sort of stuff, you know. That it sort of makes for a bitchy environment. I probably got a very good point. In fact, certainly got a very good point. Tried white suede from Tom Ford. Terrible. Uh, it's not what you would think Tom Ford's. Tom Ford's like, you know, it's it's just not. I don't think Tom Ford tried to be all things to all people after a while. And it, it backfired a little bit. I'm just going to take the jumper off. The famous jumper. The jumper, I... Oh, it's on the floor. Oh, no, it's not. Um, Very grandma-ish. grand -mish. Yeah, it does. It strikes me as being a bit pants as well. Like. Do you find Baldafri similar to Vet of a Tonga? Not hugely. New Girl on by Thierry Vassa. Any thoughts? Probably not by Thierry Vassa. Um, I haven't smelled. Oh, the Apice X Squee. Apice X Squeeze. Exquisite Spice. What a name for a perfume. Looks interesting, doesn't it? Looks interesting. I'm um, not sure how... Not sure how it's going to smell because that line's let me down pretty hard. Like Tom Ford has become the Barbara Cartland of the fragrance industry. Not sure who Barbara Cartland is. If you could remind us, just having a spray of this. A scar, a scarlet Haiti, a scarlet Haiti. This is this is lovely. Like a fizzy. Oh, I just ordered Pavarotti from a news. You said it was your favourite. It's up there. It's up there, Mr. Harness. 
you can't go wrong with Pavarotti. Excuse me. That's Pavarotti for you. Can you see what I've done to that bottle? There is not a lot left. And when you've got a collection the size of mine, that's a 125 mil bottle as well, by the way. You know, that's less than half. That's like a third, I want to say. Nah, it's between a third and a half in it. I just ordered Dolly Poor Hom. I'm glad to see everybody's uh, everybody's getting stuck in there. You're a nice block. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. Do you have Kenzo Power? Is it still available? Fine. Hello, Eva. Do you have Kenzo Power? Is Kenzo Power the... Um, or is that Kenzo Hom? I don't think I've got... I, I haven't got Kenzo Power, and I, I haven't seen it for a long time. I remember... Um, I remember somebody talking about... I think it was Mark. Is that the one that's uh, a leather, Enrique? I like that a scar, but I like the Indonesia better. This scar has only lasted 10 minutes on me. I get hours. I get hours. It really works dead well on me. I get more than what I would think I was going to get. Kenzo Power Cologne I got. Ah, Joy Amin. Welcome, Joy. Kenzo Power Cologne I got. Power is flory, powdery floral, I think. Ah. Joy will know. Um... There is a Kenzo that, uh, um, that is a leather, and it is out there. So I got a bottle of Indonesian instead last hour. on me. Well, if it works better for you. Oh, no. Hello, I'll be honest, J-Bone. This stuff is fantastic. I'm obsessed with this. I actually wear a lot of this, and I didn't realize the hole I've put in that. The, the hole I've put in it. The dent I've put in that. Sorry. Um... Curious about the new girl on coming in a few, in a few coming in a few months. Personally, was certainly impressed. Is that the a piece exqui or the exqui is a piece? Catherine, I have to. Bro, you probably got hours as well. You may be going nose blind. I would ask others if they can smell it on you. I got this, this stuff lasts for ages on me. I absolutely love it. Like, or oh, Kenzo Jungle the other day. Forgot how good it is. Hi, much big fan of you. And yes, thanks for the support, my channel. I love you. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Joy. Joy's a legend. I was delighted when Joy got monetized. It was about time, wasn't it? Thank you, Joy. I appreciate you coming in here and saying hello. He's a big gun, isn't he? <clears throat> Been around a long time. Done a lot of reviews. Prodigious amount of content. Oh, that Prado is fantastic slept on. It is. It really is, actually. Oh, Ryan D is here. Welcome, Ryan D. So, this is like a classic. Oh, stop that. Um, I beg your pardon. Stop throwing me bottles around. This has been around for so long that people forget, actually, how good it is. It's really, really good. It's it's that's that warm, it's got that warm do you know soap that's got moisturizer in it and it leaves you feeling like just a little bit warm. It's got that sort of vibe about it. It's fresh but it's warm. No, it's for the Middle East range, isn't it? A piece of square rename. I don't think so. I think it's a re I think it's a I think it's a new release, Catherine. Sorry. I haven't heard about this one for the Middle East range. Is it going to be available? To everyone. Ah, Western Oud. Yes, yes, you do think that. Is it outrageous? Of course it's outrageous, Galen. I'm surprised you had to ask. It's outrageous. <coughs> Excuse me. Kenzo Power is a floral fresh perfume done by Olivia Polish. Robes likes a lot. I think it was Robes. I always thought that was a that was a that was a um I always thought that was a leather fragrance. Bye, haha, -ha, cool. It's curious because I know many find it too powdery. What's my scent of the day, Rich? My scent of the day is Eau Sauvage Parfum, the latest version. I think I prefer the latest version to the newest one. Apologies. I think May in Europe, so maybe September in the US. Well... They're releasing it as the world turns, are they? 
Do you use one cent more than one every day? I only ever have one cent of the day. Um, many reasons for that. I like to keep it simple. Um, I like to see how a fragrance performs throughout the whole day. Um, I don't like layering. I don't like the possibility of layering. I don't want to shower twice a day if I can help it. Um, but what I do do, do do, what I do do is I put other scent I want to test. Sorry, that's me watch. Um, I put other scent I want to test on my hand and my arms. So I can wear up to like five or six fragrances if I want. I've got big arms, you know, like they're quite long. So I put one on the back of each hand, one on each forearm, and then one above the elbow if I want to. Um, scent of Late Night, ADG, the classic. Oh, my poor arm is absolutely stunning. Yeah, it is. It's a brilliant fragrance. It's amazing. When I wear the moon, I prepared for a scent of two days. Yes. See, I found the night didn't particularly do that on me, but the moon, the moon's got more synthetic notes in it, hasn't it? It's a shame I can't ship to uh, to Bangladesh, or I would send Joy various samples. Audrey Jane is here. Welcome, Audrey Jane. I beg your pardon. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. I'll tell you a couple of things I'm looking forward to wearing. They've both got coffee notes in them. This, which is Penhaligon's Endymion Concentrate. And one of Ramsey's favourite. Oh, I need to be careful. And we don't want to frag a lunch. This is Yoji Hom. Um... Maybe you should go backwards a little bit so I'll follow this. Uh, Ramsey's just updated a video about, um, uploaded a video about Van Cleef and Arpels and Lagerfeld. Um, but these have both got coffee in them. Quite little thought of wearing them. Especially this. This came recommended, speaking of Ramsey, this came recommended highly by Ramsey, the Yoji Hom. It's, um... I appreciate the bottle for it. This is only a 50 mil. There's like a bit of a wand though. Um, Yoji Hom. And it's Yoji Yamamato. Aha. This is fantastic. It's got that coffee in it. I really need to check out what the... Um, I really need to check um, the notes on this. This is a coffee fragrance. Again, welcome to everybody. At the beginning, we talked about the um, the thumbnail. And if you look at the, uh, the thumbnail, that is what happens when you shampoo a cow. They become a fluffy cow. And some farmers are known to shampoo their cow. Some cows have a better life than some people, you know. I know a bloke. Oh, excuse me. I know a bloke who had the oldest Subaru dealership in the United Kingdom in Ireland. One of the oldest in Europe. One of the original people to import Subarus and sell them in this country. And he sold the business. And bought loads of cows, and now he just lives. I mean, he doesn't live with his cows, but like he lives for his cows now. I think he got sick of people, and uh, and he uh, he decided that he would rather spend his time with cows, which is fair enough, frankly. Um, if him and his cows are happy, then I'm happy for him. So what was it I was looking for? Yoji. Yoji by Yoji Yamamoto. Is that the day Diagalev? Hello from, from Australia. I was going to say Russia there. Hello, Cathal. Rich, have you anything planned for 1K sub celebration? 
Uh, no, nothing planned. Um, nothing planned at all. Do you know, I think I might have told you a lie about this for everyone. It hasn't got coffee in at all. This Endymion, yeah, the Endymion Cologne is beautiful. It's one of the best fragrances as a fragrance. It's the same as Cologne Imperial by Guerlain. As a fragrance, the smell is one of the finest I've ever smelled. The performance on the Endymion Cologne and Guerlain Imperial Cologne is woeful. It's absolutely shocking. Um, but the smells are beautiful. So in Yoji... There is cypress, nutmeg, bergamot, jasmine and freesia, sandalwood and musk. Not a single hint of coffee to be found. Hmm. But it is nice. I plan to retire early too to look after the alpacas as well. Aha. Nice one, Barriatron. I like animals. Sometimes animals are nicer than people. And sometimes it's easier to talk to animals. You know? Um, people who don't love animals... Like, uh, people who are cruel to animals are like... There's obviously something wrong with them. You know? But, like, people who don't like animals... I don't... I, like, I don't understand. But some people have got allergies. Some people just don't like them. Is it a decaf coffee note? Shut up, Dura Rose. You want Yoji Hom? I know that's what I'm looking at with the crazy long bottle. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Denby. Oh, you've got us. Well done. I have completely done it. You rascal. Oh, you've done us there. Well done. Oh, of course, it's got coffee in it. Should have trusted me nose. Oh, Denby. Yeah, it's definitely got coffee in it, hasn't it? Oh, well done, Denby. Showed some a good good skill there. So the actual <laughs> the actual note list then. Of the perfume I was just talking about, I'll have to get it back out now. So this perfume here, all right, they've all got similar bottles. That's why I was I was I was I was thrown off. So the top notes: licorice, juniper, sage, cardamom, bergamot. Definitely get some cardamom, and something resembling licorice. Definitely like that crazy warmth. <laughs> Uh, the mail come on to that in a minute, Catherine. The middle note is rum, coffee, and geranium. The base is cedar, leather, musk, and patchouli. Right, so I really get the rum, the coffee, the cardamom, the licorice has become more apparent the more I think about it. Um, so, so is the geranium. I'm coming right round to geranium. I bought Geranium Pour Monsieur by Frederick Mall in the winter because it was on sale at La Santa. And I really, really like it, actually. I'm a huge fan. So, Catherine says, Catherine says, I wore a Zerzhoff the other day that had a clear coffee note, but I know that's a big no-go brand for you. Well, we can talk about it. Part of the reason I say that Zerzhoff are bad is because there is a horrible person out there who says horrible things. It's not who you think it is. Um, who absolutely loves Zerzhoff. And so every time I hear, <laughs> every time I hear the word Zerzhoff, I'm just like, ah, shite, get away, rubbish. And it's like a, it's like a, it's it's become a bit of a, a private, a private joke now. This person has truly been rotten. So that's me little, uh, me being a little bastard. 
that to be fair, I've got to be honest, though. I've got, I have got to be honest. I have enough to smell the Zerge off that ever, like, compelled us to buy it, you know? Um, I don't think any of the Zerge off are worth the prices. They're not... They're not... They're not bad in the way that clones are bad. They're not bad as in they don't smell like they've been made in somebody's bathroom. They're not bad as in they've gone off. Um, but they are bad for the price, certainly. And they are an example of Veblen goods, in my opinion, I should state. Um, and I, from the rumours I've heard... Um, they're not well everybody remember i mean i don't know if everybody remembers but the, i always remember the story i heard about how the bloke turned up to christopher lord Amel, lord Amel, lord Amel, lord Amel, turned up to his office and just picked all the ones up off the shelf and said i'll buy all of those um revolt and brand yeah i would say that that it's not my vibe you know so while i while i I don't want anyone to think as though they can't mention them around us for me, for like fear of me turning around and being like, rah, 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 rah. Do you know what I mean? Lord of Miel is a genius, nothing to do with Zerzhov. I know, Lord of Miel, he's got a few different names, hasn't he? He's gone by a few different names. I didn't realise I don't have any Zerzhov. I'm not sure why exactly. It could be because of me, to be fair. That's Chris Maurice, yeah. He changed his name. He did. He changed his name because he couldn't get a. Uh, he couldn't get work being called Chris Maurice. Was that what he said? Something like that. It's subjective as always. Yeah, I just have my own criteria, and when I speak, I can speak. I can be quite forceful when I speak. If everybody else, if anybody else likes it, I mean, you crack on. You know what I mean? It's just. It's the same with them. All the first ones, Jura Rose. You know, like Naxos and um, all of them. Apparently what he did was Christopher Lord of Miel, just out of like an exercise in perfumery, decided to make like better versions of some really famous perfumes. Um, uh, Lord of Miel is a different person. Chris Maurice it also goes by Chris Carbonell, yeah. I thought they were all the same person, Fosco. Thank you. So, what was I saying? Yes, Chris Laudamel made these, made these um, copies of stuff like Pure Havan. Um, was it not close to a Lord of Miel? Eugene, tell with a story. <laughs> I didn't want to grass on Eugene. I didn't want to like tell everyone it was Eugene who said, but Eugene is now here to tell us who said. Who said what? I can't drop the link. I can't even send the link to Eugene privately. Did I'm, I'm not using StreamYard. Um, I really do. I have smelled Naxos. I'm really not a fan. Quentin Bisho, Julian Raskiné, Raskiné. Only have one FB, Zerzhov, it is. Full bottle of our Zerzhov, it is. Call Eugene on speakerphone. Ooh, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, my lad! Chalice, yeah. Chris Maurice Carbonell is one person, Lola Miel is another. Yes, that's just been explained to us. Herba Pura, somebody mentioned. Um... Somebody mentioned that. Somebody mentioned that uh, before yesterday I received Les Indomitable sample power. Ah, Joe, where's the video? Why haven't you done a video yet? It was Carbonell. Ah. So it was Carbonell who did the, the copies, the clones of the... So he did some upscale clones of stuff like Pure Havan and, and like these other fragrances and then 
person who runs Zerzhov apparently turned up at his office and was like, oh, like, have you got anything ready to go? And he was like joking on and said, oh, yeah, I've got these. And the bloke bought them all. Just took them, didn't try them, didn't care. Sergio for overpriced. Sorry about that. Fouget Emeraude. Oh. I have got, I was smelling queer to Sheen the other day and I really enjoyed it and I had to put that stuff away in case I decided to try and buy another one. Um, I'm going to end up like Eugene and just have all of them. I'm not like that. <laughs> I say that sometimes I am. I've said that now. I am. Sometimes I am exactly like that. Sometimes I will think to myself, well, I've got like seven of the 10. So, you know, I might as well get the other three just for like, just for like lols. Um, I've got like 10 Muglers. Fujia Maraud is also my fave in Damadabla. Still on the fence though, whether to get a bottle. Really good quality to be fair to them. Kirishina is excellent. Osmanthus. Ah, it's a lovely, it's a lovely little bit of fruit. 15% tuberose absolute. It's just mind boggling. Wants to be for the price. I mean, if you were to double it exactly mil for mil, which isn't what isn't what they would actually do, but if you want 100 mil, it's not 400 euros, like say 350 quid for 100 mil of Les Nemedabla, you know. They only come in 50 mil bottles. It's Fuja Emerald Herbal, possibly. I've got a sample, but I'm not going to use it. Um, your best bet is to ask Jura Rose. How are you feeling after yesterday's stream, Eugene? I was talking to a news earlier. He was buzzing. He was happy that uh, everybody seemed to everybody seemed to have a good time. I enjoyed it. Oh. It is herbal with a wonderful powder. Recording the base. Yeah. This is where one one area where me and Eugene differ. Powder is just poor. Oh. I've got to be careful with powder. It's got to be done the way I like it, or I can't. It, like for me, it goes really, a little, little grandmary, grandmotherish. Audrey Jane's bang into like like that older vibe, um, like you know, like the older the older woman vibe. Even though she's like younger than I am, I know that doesn't say much. Like a lot of people are younger than me. Powders for the ladies. I don't necessarily think powder just ha just for the ladies, but powder not for me, not for this lady. Stefan is 15% churros alcoholate, which means they use high amounts compared to the absolute. It's stunning. Powder for the ladies and Jeremy. <laughs> Scent of the day's ammo wash gold men. Reminds me of girl on parur. Catherine, did I ever? Did you ever see my bottle of the original gold, man? Um, it's one of the most classic sheep res I've ever smelled. It's so vintage smelling; it's unbelievable. It's got a huge floral note. It really reminds us of like a like a like a vintage. 40s, 50s, 60s fragrance made by someone like Chanel. But imagine if you were transported back to that time so you could smell it fresh. So it would be an old style fragrance in a fresh, but freshly made. Tony Montana wanted all the powder also. Hello, Paige. How are you? Tony Montana can't have all the powders. There was something on the TV about that sort of thing the other <gasps> excuse me about that sort of thing the other day apparently it's like the cheapest it's ever been and i was sitting thinking well surely it'll not be the cheapest it's ever been but compared to what it was like 30 40 years ago apparently it's cheaper and easier to get cheaper than cheaper and easier to get than it's ever been 
And I was like, well, not for me, mate. I don't leave the house. Whoa. Iris Pearl is such a Chanel perfume. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I'd go along with that. Have you smelled Iris Tattoo yet, Eugene? I don't know what you would think about this. This smells like a really expensive Versace Lom. No, uh, pardon me. Um, Prada Lom. This. This smells like a really expensive Prada Lom. Excuse me, I'll put this away. I remember Thomas recommending this last year, and I bought it again from the Los Santas. Les Santas. Les Santas. Blah, blah. Their sale. Um, and I got it half price. I wouldn't pay a penny more than half price, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, very linear. Hello, Mr. Tangent. How are you? Or Mrs. Tangent. Or Ms. Tangent. Or Master Tangent. Hello, Tangent. I need to try this Oris Tattoo and Latessa. Latessa's nice. I think you'd like Latessa. Oris Tattoo smells like skin to me. I'm hungry for the powder. Hmm. Page, oh, page of Styles. Been layering Fougere Emeraud over Musk's de Sable. Outrageous. That'll be a good question to ask Remy Eugene if you can put the Escalon Haiti over any of the other over any of the other Lesenda Medabla. You know? That would be interesting. Bon Toy Bois is the skin smell for me. I'll tell you what's got a really strong skin smell for me. Like a like a like a worn, unwashed, two day old skin for me is the top of Sundowner. Who else sells vintage bottles besides Anouche? Um, Le Parfumier uh, from Canada as well. Le Parfumier. Mr. Harness. Hungry like the wolf. Wolf. Lavender is beautifully balanced as well. Wearing it is great. Have you tried that vetiver from Les? Yes, I've got it. Les and Demodabla, were you going to say? The Escalon Haiti, the vetiver one. Or are you just about to say? Trying to acquire Le, Le Arige. Now the Harris Le Drian is quite a skin scent. See, I've seen a lot of people. I remember Caboose. Remember Caboose talking about some Miller Harris fragrances as if, like, they were really quite good. He was always waxing lyrical about their, about their, um, about their quality, especially for the price. Dura, it's just one of them. Excuse me whilst I hydrate, by the way. Are your Bortnikoff still powdery, Rich? Only one of them. Um, Oud Monarch. Oud Monarch. Just the most powdery thing I've ever smelled in the mid to the dry down. Incredible powder. I've never known such powder. Yes, do you enjoy? I do enjoy. Um... You can see why it's like half the price of the other ones. It's actually a quarter of the price of the other ones. Or a third. So it's like 140 euros for... Behave. Stop that. So... It's about a, it's about a third the price of the other one. God in heaven. Stop that. <laughs> I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it greatly. It's about a third the price, you know. Back you go. Or do you? Uh, nobody fall over. It's the 
thing. Gravity always wins. Miller Harris goes on still in the UK or Little England, as my daughter would say. It is Little England. She's not wrong. We are Little Islanders. We're just... We're just a cold... You know, the La Reunion, the Reunion Islanders, just off the coast of it, uh, in India. We're just like them. Kill intruders. Kill people who come. Strangers, people we don't know, foreigners, all that sort of thing. That's what we're like. Just imagine take years to create a perfect balance for a scent. The dog come and mix it with other layering. Ooh. I saw the price and wondered. It is good stuff, Mega Shoemaker. It's really nice. It's really good quality. It does last uh, four hours on me as well. Um, you'd have to reapply about three to four times a day. What's everyone's scent of the day? My scent of the day, although I have said before, I shall say again. It is Eau Sauvage 2017. The fantastic. Were you dying over the vintage perfume warehouse tour Eugene took? I was. I was loving it, Catherine. It was brilliant. It was fantastic, wasn't it? All those factices as well. And the minis. The minis really tickled us. I got in touch with them actually afterwards and I was like, ooh. I was like, minis, is it? What you got? Sarasans. Uh, personally sent me some Sarasans. I was actually, I wasn't, I wasn't overly offended by it. I thought I was gonna hate it because of the big jasmine, but I didn't hate it because of the big jasmine. Oh Savage Extreme, the beautiful black bottle. Yeah, that was a big, it was a big bottle. All those factices as well made a Anuj made a really good point about them being made of um glass and how much they how much they must have spent on molds for stuff like that back in the day whereas now they just don't even bother i haven't yet tried the samples of les and Demadabla. i was thinking to do a true person version but the curiosity is killing me do a stream do them on stream show Fahrenheit Mini got me excited. Yeah, the Fahrenheit Minis. He's got the, um, apparently they've got the five-digit batch codes on, which means they're pre-1998. So what you have, to, so the way you identify the old Dior's is, right, and this is all from um, Raiders of the Lost Scent. Did you catch how much Patu he had? I didn't see how much patu he had. All I, all I knew was that he didn't have any patu pour on. And he just sent far fact he sells for thousands. Outrageous. It's no wonder he wants to keep the place uh, the closely guarded secret. I don't blame him. But no, back to the... Um, I know how to identify old vintages of Dior so what you do is you look on them and if they've got a five digit batch code it's before 1998 and the first digit indicates the year now there is also another thing they moved from number 30 to number 33 Hotch Avenue I'm sure it's Hotch Avenue I've got it here I've got one here give us a second so they moved from 30 to 33 Hotch Avenue in 1990 or 1991. So everything after 1991 will have 31 Avenue Hotch, Hotch with an E. And everything before 1991 will have 30 Avenue Hotch. And I have a mini here. That says that has a five digit batch code, which means it's before 98 and it's got 30 Avenue Hotch on it. And it's got a nine, so this is a 1989 bottle. I hope you followed that. If not, go on Raiders of the Lost Scent and you will. The information's right there for you. Oh, excuse me, whilst I return to my chair. 
Vladislav Sreta. Hello, sir. Old equals vintage. Yes. Kind of. Not just old. There's other factors. So, for me, it's a bit of a catch-all umbrella term, like, and it's not ideal, especially if you've got a channel and you're importing information people might take as gospel, right? You should always do your own research and you should always find out for yourself and then you can apply your own rules about what you think is what. Um, and it's good for everybody to find out for themselves. It's good to find out for yourself. It's what I did. Uh, and you can take sources, different sources. Raiders of the Lost Scent is a really good way, is a really good, like, especially for, like, bigger brands like Vintage Chanel, Vintage Guerlain, Vintage Dior, stuff like that. Um, so, no one's old, only vintage. That's right. That's right. Um, that's right. I mean, obviously, vintage are better as they get older, aren't they? So, um, yes, Raiders of the Lost Scent. But what I mean by vintage is usually not the latest version of something. So you can use you can use different criteria. Oh, Audrey Jane's got new uh, new vintage perfume. Tell us what it is. I demand to know. Um. That Yoji is absolutely lovely. Really warm. So the other criteria that you might use, apart from age, yes, it is a vintage. It's a 1995 Enrique Vasquez. Um, so do you prefer Dior Eau Sauvage or YSL Pour On Eau Sauvage? I'm not a big fan of uh, YSL Pour On. I would I would like to actually get rid of my YSL poor rum. I, 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 like I'm, it's very starchy and sharp for me. Um. So what I would say, as far as a vintage is concerned, as well as something that's not the latest formula, you know. So the two thousand and twelve, Eau Sauvage, which I've got, the two thousand and twelve version, is. A vintage compared to the 2017 version. If they release a 2022 or 2023 or 25 version, will the 17 become the vintage? No, because it's not the oldest one. It'll become a pre pre reformulation. This is just how I've got it arranged in my head. You know, there's no hard and fast rule. Yes, apparently Audrey Jane's never smelled it. Um, Audrey Jane's never smelled a Hermes. It's madness. It's bonkers, that. Excuse me whilst I acquire the whilst I acquire the back scratcher. Oh, I've thrown something on the floor. Oh dear. Two moments, please. Oh, the back scratch is amazing. Oh. Oh. If, I ra if the house burned down, I would run back in for the back scratcher. I'd probably run past quite a few perfumes as well. I haven't introduced you, Doug. What do you mean? It's in the forbidden section. Oi, oi. What's this about your forbidden section? What is this? Yes, a particularly stellar batch can become quickly become a vintage like wine. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, I would agree with that. You know, you get like you, you know when people say about wine that that it was a good year. You know, um, the original the original year that Udisbahan was released is the only one with a good rose in. If you smell all the other ones compared to the original, and apparently it's because. It's because of climate change in Iran. You know, like that corridor in like Iran and Pakistan and Afghanistan. Um, apparently climate change has like hit their like agriculture really hard. Um, especially like the flowers. 
you know, not the hardiest of plants, so stuff like the Ispahan rose. Uh, and their yields have been absolutely awful. It's been like bad quality. And it's been like this for over a decade as well, apparently. Um, it's been, flowers have been terrible. The yield, the quality. And so Udis Bahan has suffered as well. I beg your pardon. Ah, and Harry Potter. Hermes is, Hermes is in the forbidden section of the library. I've never seen any Harry Potter in the same way you've never smelled a Hermes. Uh, neither have I seen any of the Lord of the Rings either. Excuse me whilst I hydrate. I will tell you what else I am looking forward to wearing this year. Oh, this, this is the original Tom Ford for men. Absolutely fabulous. How is what possible? I've got the original formulation of uh, Bellamy in the shaker bottle. Oh, not 1992, 1995. And CK1 respectively, but hard. I also received my bottle of geranium Paul Monsieur from Frederick Marlin. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes, it is. It's lovely, isn't it? I have never seen any of the Star Wars, Yoshi. Unlucky. Don't make us get you with a red turtle shell. Um... We'll change the rules for me. This is a rose from... Cast at Persia that got destroyed by heat waves. That no, it's the yield, the yield as well. The yield as well about the Ispahan rose. I understand it's not just they haven't been wiped out, but apparently the um the um the rose from Ispahan is cabbaged. It's not in a good place. Tar uses similar rose and rose to Kandahar, which is why it's so often out of stock. Jeez, Rich, did you grow up on a commune? I don't know what you mean. Oh, without uh, without all this, I'm not into pop culture. You know how I talk about vintage perfumes and stuff like that? It's the same with, like, it's the same with, like, pop culture. It's like I'm, I've always been a bit, I've never been, I don't know why, just never interested. As I grew up at the right time for it, in the 80s and the 90s, Mitch Azudis band in your top five to your previous, nope. It's probably one of my least favourites, to be honest. Not a fan. I would. It would be the next one I'd buy, but it would have to be the 2011 version. It would have to be the original that came out because they use a synthetic. They use a synthetic smelling oud now. The oud's not as good in it, and the rose is not as good in it either, and it's an oud rose, so what do you want us to do? Mitch is just behind me. Too busy watching Coronation Street. Don't watch, never watch Coronation Street either. Any of them, no soaps. Have you heard that Neighbours has been taken off the telly? Crazy. They're finished, they can't get funding anymore. Nobody's watching it in the UK. Too busy watching Coronation Street. I am not. I would never do such a thing. So, yes, I am very much looking forward to wearing this. This is, if I am correct, which I am, <coughs> excuse me, this is a 2009 bottle. Oh, it's good stuff. I would say the original Tom Ford Beaudejour would qualify as a vintage once he changed it. It's a good point. I need to refill my little, my little, uh, lordy door. Let me fill up, refill my little atomizer. Uh, no, I don't watch uh, Geordie Shaw. It's embarrassing. It's extremely embarrassing. But Gary Beadle's granddad lives two minutes away, and I went to school with him. He was in the he was a couple of years younger than I was. Oh, 
Audrey Jane, I'm sure that's an ism. <laughs> oh, I'm going to spray some of this on. I got a backup of this. Champak Absolute is discontinued. Spine Mash, yes, I do still have that 250mm. Oh dear, what have I done? I've got away with it. I still have that 250mm boat as you um, I got that at the signature price because they had a they had a big one left in the draw. I'm sure I told this story last time. Um, they had a big one left in the draw and it had 30% off. And I was like, oh, it's got 30% off. And she was like, yeah, we've got to sell it at like the, the same like mill per mill. Um, we've got to sell you at the same mill per mill price as the new one. And I was like, hold my feathers. I was like, I'll be back. Don't sell it. I left her with a deposit like she wouldn't take it. Um, so I didn't leave her with a deposit. I tried to leave her with a deposit. Um Rich, how would you feel about him telling human notes and chorus? We've had this discussion. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You leave chorus alone. Good night, all. We'll catch up tomorrow morning after what's the new episode of The Last Kingdom. Good night, Audrey Jane. I will uh, email you about that number 19. I've actually got some under number under 19. I've got some number 19 eau de cologne here, which I don't know that I'm that fussed on, if I'm being perfectly honest. That would make Cora smell extra sweet. Actually, I do. I got one right here. Take my watch. Manly sense. yes, I was going to leave my shoes with her or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I was like, whoa. I was like, yeah, like, take me coat. Last Kingdom is already out. Got to watch it. Never seen it. Don't know what it is. I'm not big on watching TV. I've gone right off. I'm much more into games. Like, I like playing games. I like the interactive nature. I like, like, big open world stuff where I can just, like, one about. And... What was that? I need bottles for my bottle. I've got about five bottles of number 19. Was it number 22 you wanted us to ask about? Which one was it? I got the current formulation number 1988 today. Did you? How's that? How's it going? What do you think? This stuff's ancient. You can tell by the font on the Eau de Cologne. You can also tell because there is nothing anywhere. It's just a bottle. Didn't come with a box that I remember. So it was number 19. I still need to ring up there. Uh, Phoenix. I still need to ring up Phoenix and tell them I don't want that bottle of... Um, of uh, Cristal anymore. Will they release a new Chorus Blank Electric Car? Nope. No, I don't think they will. Uh, I think Chorus is a dying, a dying, a dying, a dying brand. I don't think it's a dying brand. I think it's like it's it's dying off, you know. Um, I swear those old Chanel colognes and ADTs get better and stronger. I would agree with you. It's a dying breed. Well said, Joe. It's that it's it's like what um, Anu said yesterday about Antis. You know, you can tell when the end's coming for a perfume when they stop releasing the stuff like the soap. The imagine a chorus soap. My God. Um, like when they re stop reducing, like releasing the deodorant and all that sort of thing, and he said he's seen it a thousand times, and I was like, yeah, I was like, that sounds about right. And taste, so stock up on your own taste. Um, Rich, have you tried any Jeffrey Dim? No, I've got to be honest, I'm not. I'm not too. You know, filth for the sake of filth. You know, when it when a perfume's just a dirty, like a dirt bomb for no reason. Um, I don't like that sort of thing. You know, when it just smells like crap, it just smells like shit. Literally, like somebody's like, like covered themselves mildly and like shit, and just gone out and thought, yes, it's it smells amazing. 
It doesn't. Um, I like it when it's used in conjunction with other stuff. When it's used to highlight other things. Pardon me. Not when it's just used as a great big dollop for smelling like crap in and of itself. You know? Ah, oh, Cristal. Might wear some Cristal, the Emperor's new shite. Uh, the Emperor's new poop. I got that from Gucci Uden Tents. I don't get that from Gucci Uden Tents. I always thought that was, I don't want to say it was sweet. I just smell like B.O. It might be your, might be your, uh, your skin chemistry with the fragrance that. I never got B.O. from it. I just got this sort of dark, generic, wood fragrance stuff, you know? Just bang average stuff. I just smell like Bo. Bo Derek. Um... Lol. What else? What else shall I talk about? I'm I'm still looking. I'm looking at some perfumes that I'm hoping to make a big dent in this year, just to try and get through them a bit. I'm hoping to finish off Coriolan. Um, I'm hoping to get through this. I actually really like this. I think I prefer this to the old Black Rimball. Uh, but I smelled this one first. Um, no spaced out. Could you tell what's happening? It's in the Champions League, do Oh. I'm not watching the Champions League, actually. I'm okay talking to you. Newcastle are playing tomorrow night, so you can bet your life I'll not be streaming tomorrow night. This time tomorrow, I'll be hiding under me quilt, hoping that Newcastle don't get destroyed, as I tend to do every time they play. Three away games in eight days, you know. Harsh. What is happening in the Real Madrid versus PSG? 3-1, Real Madrid. Two goals in less than two minutes. Newcastle did that the other day against uh, Brighton. Carlo Ancelotti knows what he's doing. I hope, Real I hope PSG never win anything, to be honest with you. Um... Remember when it was PSG versus um, Bayern Munich in the Champions League final and everyone was like, oh, we're going to have to support Bayern Munich because nobody wants PSG to win. Oh, dear. And then it was PSG versus RB Leipzig. Yeah. I hate how RB, like, I hate how, like, Red Bull turn into, turn everything into, like, like, they literally changed the name of the team to, like, Red Bull Leipzig. Yikes. This is Alan using Wesley's computer. Don't tell him. Don't worry, I shall not tell Wesley a thing. Hello, Wesley. Ah, I love this stuff. It's fantastic. Jura Rose. Jura Rose. They're ABCC11 gene. Well, good for them. Slightly jealous of that, I won't lie to you. I mean, BO is like, it's not great, is it? You know what I mean? It's not ideal. But apparently, that's what everybody used to smell like until like the 1920s or the 1930s or something, until like widespread, like indoor plumbing was available. Legit ET was the original metrosexual center a year before Dioram. I've actually got devastated that I actually broke the bottle that Eugene sent us. Um, I was out for gratitude, but I broke the bottle of Lidge that Eugene sent us, and now it sits at the back. Now it sits at the back waiting to be used. You know? Yeah, was that and have flaky earwax, not wet earwax. God, that's just grim. Oops, sorry about that. Um, Oda Denby, 
It's a five out of five masterpiece, I'll have you know. Oda Danby. Lidge was the original metro sexual fragrance. Um. Hmm. You know how I knew you were live? Because you haven't been on WhatsApp for a while. Well, that's a fair point. I do spend a lot of time on my phone. I might be getting a laptop at some point. It is that time of the evening, though, isn't it, Peter? You've been talking to Peter today. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh, I know. Has anyone smelled this? Helmet Lang Eau de Cologne. This is a powdery boy. This is a very powdery boy. That Tom Ford from Men's Lovely. Very signature scent worthy. You'd be a criminal on Twitter, Rich. I'd probably be. Uh, I'd probably be in jail if I was on Twitter. I wouldn't be able to help myself. I'd tell everyone to fuck off. I don't like the idea of being on social media. It sounds awful. Excuse me whilst I yawn. Hello, flower girl B. How are you? Yes, I have a 50 mil and a 100 mil, partial 100 mil, of this fragrance. And it is very powdery. I didn't know you had an Aqua de Palma. I've got a few Aqua de Palmas. That one there is... That one there is... Colonia Mirror. Peter, how is your review going? That you filmed the day. This is lavender and iris. It's really nice. Now, seriously, is Bertrand Duchafort an overrated perfumer? No, but he hasn't made anything particularly great for a while. He's really good, <clears throat> but he just hasn't made anything fantastic for ages. Anybody have an opinion on that with the Palmer Oud and Spice? Goodness. I didn't know that we're going to do an Oud and Spice. That helmet lang is gorgeous. Um... so fresh but it's so warm it's very nice i highly recommend you try that there was a this is the original release there was a 2014 re-release i do believe powdery lavender did you say i'll tell you what's a thick rich lavender that people seem to really go mad over but i'm not huge on i beg your pardon it is It is Caron Poronome. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. I've got a vintage of that stuff, and I'm not huge on that at all. Maybe I'll give that away if I get to 1,000 subscribers. It'll be UK only, though. Yes, I've heard the hype. I think the Colonia, the Colonia leather one's really nice. I think the in the brown bottle they changed it to black bottles, and the black bottles aren't as nice. I've got some Molinard as well, uh, Micah. You can make a merch to sell merch. T-shirts with outrageous on. Maybe excuse me, was the hydro? You could print it on a coffee mug. Yeah, I could like I could just get like somebody to design a design a rubber duck, like and just like trademark it. Sell people duck merchandise. Because it's not too like, I mean, if, if you just walk around with like a, a t shirt, plain t shirt with like a duck on it, you know, it's not going to look that stupid. It's not going to like, like if you had a, like a picture of me actual face on, or if you had a picture of like, <laughs> if you had like a, if you had a, um, if you had like a, uh, like a picture with like the name of the channel on or something like that. That doesn't, that's not, that's not good. 
that's not hot because it's just a meme in it. It's kind of like shit in like six months. But like a duck is more like it's like and it's like everyone knows what a duck is. Ducks have been around for a long time, you know. Peter, I told the duck to do that as well. Would definitely catch on little ducks on them. Excuse me, once I hydrate with a rubber duck sat in a puddle being sprayed with balls of Balenciaga pour on. Have you ever seen the banner on my channel? It's a rubber duck with a with a little umbrella and a and a bottle of Koros. It was made by Caboose. Next thing you know, Nabitus will contact you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was thinking that sort of thing. Nick N. Ducks are timeless. Well, exactly. Nick N knows what's happening. What about scented bath ducks? Oh, and they would like fizz around the bath when you like drop them in. Little duck bombs. Um, that would be good. That's a great idea. I've eaten a big stinking pile of greasy carbs and feel rotten. Yes, I feel there. Uh, I feel I feel your pain. Oh like yeah, I get there. I get there as well. Now oh, Ramsey has finally arrived. Welcome, Ram. Me and Ramsey are expecting. <laughs> We're expecting on Friday. Uh could even be tomorrow. It's Saturday Castle Donington right now. I will do an unboxing on Friday, an unboxing and first impression of this weird fragrance that we have ordered. Um, Koros Bath Bomb. Montana Como, that's the name I was trying to remember. What, something, something similar to Coriolan. Yes, me and uh, Josiah, me and Ramsey are expecting, we are expecting a fragrance each. I ordered us the same fragrance. Ah, good day, Jonathan. How are you? Um, I ordered us both a bottle, two of the last available bottles of this on the planet. They had three left, and I bought two of them. One for me, one for Ramsey. Me and Ramsey are looking forward. And then next week, I will be shipping his out to him. Um... Is also getting Balenciaga Portos off me and a sealed bottle of Sultan Vetiver. The top of Sultan Vetiver is beautiful, honestly. I just wish the rest of the fragrance was like that, but it reminds us a little bit of um, Vetiver Tonka in the way that it moves, you know? Um, Yes, the birth of a rare discontinued fragrance, that's right. It is rare as well, mind. There are there is like none of it lurking about. Ramsey, I've just been talking, I've spent like half the stream talking about Yoji. Yoji Hom. I sprayed some on of Yoji Hom, and it's fantastic. Coffee rum. Good stuff. Rotating only two. Thank you very much for those picks. Peter's brand is quite good. He makes everything himself. He paid for everything himself as well. He's got no partners. Doesn't over push it. Even though I tell him he should push it more. Oh, I'm looking forward to wearing this in the summer. I want to get a little warmer. April, mid-April probably. Start wearing shitloads of that again. Um, that's 180 ml a bottle as well. You know, it's a big unit. It's a big unit. Um, you can just throw this on. Look by my castagna. It shits all over that of a tonga from a great height. I have serious doubts about that. You should buy my YSL pour on. That Pavarotti bottle looks thick. It's because it is thick. It's a fabulous fragrance. Nice to hear Eugene said he's like coming right round to it. Oh, God, it's so nice. Just reminds us of a time, you know, like last year, late last year, the year before. Um,.
it's like crack it is like crack this is like crack we've also discussed this as well amber pour on i might have to get it back up with this anybody aware of like reformulations on these i'm not but it would just be like the thing for them to make it crap mm -hmm. i'm gonna have to go to the bathroom unfortunately jeremy hines isn't here so who wants to pick up the slack while i'm away hmm Someone pick up the slack. Um, I don't know. You have to get the correct version though, Jonathan. Get with me before you buy. Yes, Ash Ramsey before you buy. Crack poor arm. Surely cracks unisex, you know? Surely everybody's everybody's on crack. Um I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Jura Rose, keep everybody entertained. Don't let anyone leave. Welcome, friends. I have returned. Who left? I'm sure there were 52 people when I came in. It went up to 54. It doesn't say very much, does it? Oh, welcome back. Is that the sound of the wind? Yes, the wind howls through the tiles at my house. It's frightening. Well, it's not frightening, but you know what I mean? It sounds like, like, like a demented ghost. It's like, whoa! I'm like, what? Sounds like a ghost is like trying to come up for your soul. Oh, heavens. Excuse me whilst I hide back on the hydration. I did wash my hands. Not for two rounds of happy birthday, but I did wash my hands. Um, I have some of the hand sanitizer. I had a really good story. I was uh, I was at the local shopping centre, 
this was like the height of the pandemic, you know, just like after the first lockdown. Um, and everybody was like, everyone was like, um, oh, like wash your hands everywhere you go, wash your hands, like in every shop you go into and every time you leave. And then I was walking out the place and <laughs> there was this woman sitting in a car with her daughter. And I just heard her go, Ugh! And I was like, what? I, was, I thought she was doing it to me. I thought she'd spot us and thought, ooh, look at that. An ugly duckling. And I thought, ooh, um, that's not very nice. And I looked at her and she had a proper, proper foul look on her face and then she started laughing. I was like, I was like, I just looked at her inquiring and then she was like, oh, um, I've just got a mouth full of fucking, I've just got a mouth full of uh, hand sanitizer. She was eating a McDonald's. And she put like some of the chips in her mouth with her with her hand, and obviously the hand sanitizer on her hand had gone into her mouth. She was like, Ugh! and I was like, oh god, I was like, that's rough. Excuse me, whilst I pour wet. It's mad. I've gotten a second actor from Azara. It's got more prominent roles than the other. Odd, just. Different ways they've been stored, mate. I would have thought. Um, I don't like actor. Denver, you made me hungry for greasy carbs now. I heard if you drink too much water, it makes you it won't make you dehydrated, but it will make you feel like shit. Um, it won't make you dehydrated, but you'll feel like you'll feel like absolutely terrible. That's Ramsey doesn't wash his hands. It doesn't sanitize his hands on being. It makes you hydrated. It was a doctor saying it. Doesn't doesn't necessarily mean he's right. I know what he's saying, but you'll just be without you'll be without um you'll be without like the electrolytes and stuff like that. If you want to replace electrolytes in your body, if you want to replace electrolytes in your body, right, instead of buying powders or anything like that, you get a you get a, a pinch of salt. And you get a spoonful of sugar and put it into like some warm water and drink it. And you will feel you will feel human again. You know? Um I do that with salt, yeah. Um, lemon water and sugar. You just get a pinch of salt, just like, literally it won't make you sick because you don't put too much. I mean a pinch of salt, you know. Get some between your fingers. I have far too much sugar. I would agree with that. I know what Peter eats. It's fucking... It's not good. Himalayan pink salt. It's just pink salt. There's nothing particularly good about Himalayan pink salt. Don't just cringe at lemon water. Image, yes, I did. If I want lemon water, I'll use this. Thank you very much. It doesn't have microplastics in it. Is pink because of its location. That's just to me. That just doesn't. I'm not fussed. You're gonna get. You're gonna get everything and everything. I mean, you can't eat anything these days without getting without it being terrible for you. You know what I mean. You just need a fine and balanced diet, which you don't have, Peter. Neither do I. To be fair. Come from the Himalayas, which the shake says so. That must be true. Oh, I'm vegetarian that doesn't eat vegetables. Yep. So you eat carbs. A vegetarian that doesn't eat vegetables is the nice way of putting it. I don't want to do dying. What it the loeve? Pardon? What is the loeve? The loeve is a loeve por hom. It's um beautiful, but you need to get this bottle. You can also get loeve para ombra, which is better than this. But this is a great, this is a great fragrance. Uh, lavender lemon. Lovely, great for the um.
Did the juice of Loewe Porom go from light brown to fluorescent green through reformulations? Possibly. Oh, Peter. Stop being like that, for God's sake. Get some green powder, put it in some fruit smoothie. Hmm. You want something green and powdery? You could use uh, number nineteen. It's green and powdery, isn't it? Or is it this uh, crystal? This isn't very powdery. Uh, it is a little bit. It is a little bit. I won't lie. It is a bit. I tried green powder out. It was truly awful. Christ. It's vile. Like whenever Peter's like, "Oh, I'm cooking," I'm like, "Oh God, have you got me?" It's not good. I'm just going to eat some goyza. Goyoza. I'm not going to eat anything. I had a, uh, had a chicken and tomato curry for my tea. It's what we have on a Wednesday. We have spaghetti bolognese on a Tuesday and we have chicken and tomato curry on a Wednesday. Tomorrow I'll be having a pizza. I know this. That's And on Mondays I have a broth, like a soup. A homemade celery soup. What's the new opium flank? I like the fig one. No idea, mate. I had a sourdough pizza and microwave chips. Yikes. Microwave chips. It's gross. Um, bloody hell, it's 10 o'clock already. How has that happened? Curry thought you don't like curry. I'm not big on curry from like from like the Indians or like big on like actual proper curry, but the way that my mum makes one, she puts like apple in it and sultanas. It's like it's like my mum's food, you know what I mean? So I eat it. Um, I used to be nearly I used to think I had a terrible diet until I like Peter started telling us like what he ate I made spaghetti aglio olio today very stereotypical I love Italian food I love Italian things in general I'm a big fan of Italian culture and and like football and <laughs> I don't like curry from shops is what I'm trying to say, Jura Rose. Not just the Indians, like Chinese curry or like Indian curry or like any other kind of curries where you get curries from. I'm just not a fan. Um, I'll tell you, um, I think Lily mentioned the latest. No, sorry, it wasn't. It was Flower Girl B who mentioned the latest opium flanker. I have an outrageous opium flanker here. That I don't know if anyone's ever heard of. And if I have, no one's ever mentioned it. It is from the 90s, I believe. And it is called... Opium Fleur Imperial. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely stuff. A bit more floral, basically. It was made, I think this is actually the, um, that spaghetti ugly oleo. Oh, bloody hell, Peter. Lol. So, this is fantastic. This is a 100 mil bowl. It is a flanker. And it was made, I believe, during the... This is not the one I got complimented on. The one I got complimented on was Secret de Parfum. Or Secret de Parfum. However you want to pronounce it. It matters not. Um, This is great. I haven't worn it yet. This is in my spring and summer rotation. I don't know I'm going to get to wear this this year. You know. I see what the parfum is so good. Oh, it's so good. It really is very nice. It really is very, very nice. Is the secret to parfum. Two old women gave us a compliment. Oh, I was buzzing. I was over the moon. It is nice to receive compliments. I just don't believe that anybody goes out and gets fucking compliments like fucking all day, every day on their perfumes. It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Um, and people who tell you that it does are not telling you the truth. 
Um, they are telling you lies for views. You know, how rare is it? It's pretty rare. I've just dropped my watch on the floor. Welcome, friends. Ah, I picked my watch up now, so I won't be whispering in your ears anymore. We'll go until two hours, shall we? Do another 20 minutes. Why not? I'm not going to wear another Creed soon. I was going to wear Royal Oud today. And then I sacked it off. Because I couldn't be bothered to lift all the bottles up. Um, I'm really tempted. Really, really tempted um, to wear this again. I know I was talking about this earlier on. And we need a duck ASMR. I could do it. Royal Lewis is nice. I like a Rolfer as well. See a Rolfer turn to death on me. Bleach. That, that citrusy, citrusy top. Um, you see, Mike, uh, I don't know that they're pandering to their audiences. The, 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 the bullshit in their audiences. It's just not true what they're saying. You know? Have you tried Selection Vert from Creed? No. It's one of the only fragrances that I would like. If I if I could find an old bottle of it from from um the early 2000s when it came out, you know, when it had it on it had its last run. Um I would scoop up. I remember when uh, Robes Awake got his um flack on. I was gutted. Well, I say I was gutted. It's just um I hear the wind again. Yeah, the wind, it's, it's howling like it's raging. The wind, it's mental. Selection Vert. I love Green Valley. Selection Vert. I could have had a bottle of Selection Vert. Actually, the last order, there's one in, and I smelled it on the tester, and I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to bother with that. And it was a huge mistake. Mike, you have a tester of Green Valley. Good for you. That is quite the rare beast. I would fucking love a bottle of that. You're trying to sell it? I'll buy it. Someone made a video for February the 14th. Wear this equals she wants you. Uh, sorry, Ramsey. I've already dibbed dibs on it. What have you never heard of? My mate has reviewed every single creed in existence. He tried. He came very close. But I don't think he did. I think he missed a few. God rest his soul. He has sorely missed. Oh, Selection Vert. Yeah, I'll buy that as well if you want, mate. I'd buy Selection Vert. Just don't rip my eyes out. Whereabouts are you in the world, mate? You're in Green Valley. I wish I had Green Valley. Yeah, I wish I had Green Valley as well. Have you ever seen um early Greeks video? Thomas's Thomas's video on that. He goes on a rant. Oh, near require, eh? That's a big statement. To require said perfume. Ooh. My friends just sent us a, uh, a photo, and I'm almost certain it, it is of a cat. I was going to use uh, a picture of my mate's cat as the uh, thingy today, but I found the fluffy car when the cat had to wait for another day. I'm in New York City. Ah, it could be a problem, but I'll try. Mike, do you know how to get in touch with us? I've got my email on here. I mean, if it's going to be a nightmare, I'll remember that video. Yeah, I remember that video as well, mate. He's in my country. I know he's in your country, Ramsey, but I said first. If it works out that it's not going to work out, then you are welcome to, to buy said selection verse. Be my guest. What's the best category to select at the post office when smuggling bottles internationally? Um, good Good question. I wouldn't mind knowing that one either because I've got to send something to Ramsey next week and it's I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a recce to see how I can get them because perfumes get in just fine. 
Like I could, I could, there's a very good chance I could get this perfume off my uh, glassware. Yeah, glassware. I will send you samples, Rich. Mate, I will send you samples, mate. Um, glassware is a really good one. Um, yeah, it's a good idea. Um, because it's not a lie, is it? You know what I mean? You're not lying. So I've got Balenciaga pour on it. was categorized as a small vase. No, that was canny. It is a little, it does look have a little bit of a small vase vibe, doesn't it, though? Do you know what I mean? And it does look porcelain. It does look like a bit a bit like porcelain. And then the lid's got that crazy sort of pattern on it, you know? Like a vase, a vase type of thing. <sighs> Tell me about it. I live on an island, everything goes out by plane. Pitta. What island do you live on, mate? If you don't mind saying. Yes, I've gotten compliments on stuff like Bogue and No YouTube or whatever mention it, of course. But they're not talking because these people, like, we'll be honest, all right? These people aren't talking about fragrances anymore. They're talking about fucking numbers. You know? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Here's something for you. You go and watch, you go and watch the video that Ashton did today. Right now, I actually do like Ashton. I think Ashton's sound, so I'm not. I'm not trying to be as. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blast Ashton. But if you look at the, if you look right at that video that Ashton did today when he's talking about Dracar Noir at the beginning, look at the look in his eye. You can tell. You can tell that he, he loves it. He's got every. He's got every Dracar ever made. He says because that's his hot. That's his passion. That's what he's interested in. You can tell. And then you go and watch some of the other videos that he's made over the last six months, right? And look at just look at the look on his face, like he's having he's having to do this video. I'm doing this video because it's going to get numbers. It's going to get. It's going to make the channel grow. It's going to do this. It's like, what's the point of having that growth? What is the point of that growth, right? If you're surrounding yourself with people and your subscribers are people who just aren't like minded at all, you know, I don't see the point. I don't see the point, but when you see him talking about Dracar in that video today, seriously, go and watch it and look at the, look at the smile on his face, the little smile, the little smile that comes up on Ashton's face when he's talking about it. You can just tell when people are. Uh... Uh... Mike, do you know how? Ah, Andy from Berkeley, how are you doing? Mike, do you know how to get in touch with us? I will put my email in the in the um, in the chat. Oh, how are we? Tell me when you have it, Mike. Uh, good, please do. Tell me when you haven't made a so I can delete that comment. I don't want people coming back after the video and being like, oh, there's his email address. I'm going to contact him and be weird. Can I sign you up to lots of spam email? Not unless you want me to sign you up to lots of spam now. Step away from the precipice. This is mutually assured destruction, Peter. I say it. Do you have it? I will have to delete it. It is simply rich, Mitch, rich, Mitch at yahoo.com. It's proper review in month. Yeah. I've got a weird one today. Someone in India wanted me to buy them a $90 guitar. That is insane. That is true. You did. You were, uh, you showed us that, didn't you? You showed us that, Ramsey. That was awful. He's like, excuse me, brother. Can you help me out? And it's like, this is not a charity, you dick. This is a fragrance channel, not a charity. I like, oh, spot on. The fuck's people coming up? Say, well, you buy us a $90 guitar. Well, that fuck. Piss off. You know, save charity for people who need it. They'll just screenshot it. That's right. We'll find Max for the email and subscribe him to some spam mail. I think that's it. There is a Max 40 email out there, isn't there? I might have one. Maybe he really needs a guitar. What the fuck's he going to do with it? 
to be fair, you would eat a guitar, I reckon, Peter. You've eaten worse stuff. You regularly, regularly eat worse stuff than a guitar, to be fair, mate. A private message, Ramsey. It wasn't a private message. It was on his, uh, it was on his comment section. I was considering selling, mate. You should not sell your guitars. You were considering selling everything you bloody own. Evening, Jack Dean. Rich, where's the gong? It is in my other bedroom, safe, where I won't fucking throw bottles of perfume at it and fucking hurt it. Oh. I go downstairs and have a bacon sandwich or something. I feel like I need salt. You know? That's what you get for drinking fucking loot as a water. But me, me, me box, my voice box gets so dry. My box gets so dry. It is, it's true. Too much water. That wind is creepy. Oh, it, it, it's much, it gets so much worse than that, mate. Pradeep. Absolutely rough. Port Rhines, your box is not dry. I've heard it. How oh, did your ma tell you that? Ha <laughs> ha. The wind is creepy. It is. It's proper mad as fuck. It, it, it gets so much worse than that. Honestly, you should hear it. It's crazy. Imagine that, but ten times louder. Literally like a ghost screaming in your ear. Ah! It's like, oh, shut up. You know what I mean? It's just around the back as well. It's just my room. It doesn't happen in any other room in the house. It, seriously, it doesn't make it, it, it. Yeah, me meds do make us thirsty. You're right, Flower Girl, but you're exactly spot on. They do make us thirsty. It's gabapentin, it's a nerve blocker. The thirst is outrageous. The cotton mouth is unbelievable. Scandalous. I don't have a favourite fragrance commercial. There was one Calvin Klein did where we were on the beach. Um where they were on the beach in the black and white and they were rolling about. That was quite good. I used to like the Tommy Hilfiger one from the 90s as well. Um, he did, Ryan. He did. I got bats flying down my chimney this time. Yeah, I've heard that about you, yeah. Um, is it bad enough trees come down? No. It's honestly, it's, the, the wind's like, the wind's like quite, the wind is quite strong, but it's not so strong that it would do any damage. It's just the way that it moves through the tiles just makes that noise. It's like what you know when you blow over the top of a bottle with like varying degrees of water. Um, do you know, really funny, right? A doctor said to me the other day, um, a doctor in a hospital and it was a guy, right? He was like, oh, I used to work in the dermatology department. I was like, oh, good for you, marvellous. Um, and he was like, your skin is fantastic. And I was like, that's weird. Um, I didn't say that's weird, but I was like, all right. And he was like, he was like, why? And then I got home. I told my mother that this doctor had said it to us. Um, and she came back like the next day or something. She was like, do you know what it'll be? It'll be because of the amount of water you drink. And I was like, you know, it's not a bad shout. Man. I do drink a mad amount of water. Bonkers. Bonkers. Look how we've got the most people we've had in here all night, and I'm going in five minutes. How strange. Uh, it's all that water. Yeah, it is. It's right. It's all the water. It's all the water. I have the constitution of a duck. So I can tolerate water. Oh. Ooh. 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 Might wear this tomorrow. Oscar de la Renta, oh, sort of, Paul Louis, Paul Louis, poor Louis, or I might wear this tomorrow and give this its first outing of the year. This is really good for this time of year. Smooth as a duck. Andy from Berkeley sent me an email. Hi, Andy from Berkeley. How are you? I will reply after the stream. 
Is that how you fight oak moss rash? Lots of water. There is only one fragrance that has ever given me oak moss rash, and it is my vintage bottle of quorum, and it doesn't bode well. That said, quorum is about 90% oak moss. <laughs> it's, um, it's bonkers. But I don't get that from Zar, which is unusual, because I would expect that from Zar. Zar's a massive oak moss bomb, but it's, 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 it's held together really well by um, leather and uh, something else. Jura Rose cracking wise. Oh. I really, I really enjoy this stuff. This bottle doesn't have a huge uh, licorice note at the top. But I've got another bottle which does have a huge. Is that Good Life on the far right? No, it is Gucci Nobile. I do have Good Life, although I'm not a huge fan of it. I've got to be frank. I'm not a huge fan of Gucci Good Life. Um, I heard uh, Anouj talking about it yesterday. Um, I'm just going to spray some Oscar de la Renta. Pour the wee on. I've got 350ml bottles of that. Oh, that's bloody gorgeous, that. What's that, Peter? Two minutes long. What's two minutes long? Ah, two minutes long. Sorry, Pierre. I thought he was warning us of something. Oh, that's Oscar Tellerin. That's beautiful. That's right up my street there. Delicious. Delightful. A rare treat. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing this as well. Oh, God almighty. Behave. Oh. Right. This, less so that, but I will come to that. And this, I have a big unit of that. Got lucky with a dusty bottle hunt last week from three bottles of Ettore Bugatti. Do you know, I have got a bottle of an old Ferrari called Curvy or Cuvi. And it comes in a strange bottle, right? Oh, it's fucking lovely. It's really nice. I'll see if I can get it out. Give us two seconds. I'll see if I can get it out. It's definitely a fragrance for this time of year as well. It's a really nice scent. Right. I'm about to do something here, so brace yourselves. I'm about to do a madness. Hold on tight. Oh, no. Right. Have a look at my... Look at my carpet. Oh, shit. Um, where is it? Ah, oh, don't tell us I've moved it. I've definitely moved it. Ah, that means a horror if I was looking for that. Where is it? There's me Valentino Vendetta. Sorry, you just can't see any of this, can you? Wait a minute, I'll pick you up. Ooh, brace yourselves. Look, this is one of my drawers. That is one funky carpet. This carpet's been in this house for years. It was with the previous owner. Um, is that it? No, that's not it. Uh, there's me Shalimar that I don't particularly want. Um, what else? I should do fragrances that I'm not wearing. Oh, God. Sorry, everything's just turning to shit. Um, you know, there's three bottles of Balenciaga pour on that I'm just like, I keep on hand for like any occasion. Um, look at that. What's this? A vintage Eau Sauvage. I would sell you it, Denby. But I wouldn't give you it, mate. Sorry. Um, I'd also sell these. This is Root de Vetiver, which is harsh. And then I would also sell this, which is Racine, which is much less harsh. It's actually quite nice, Racine. I'm not sure if I would sell that. Um, 
it's not here, is it? Then I must have put it down somewhere else. Oh, that's the louder for men, yes. That's right, the gold cap one. Oh my God in heaven. So where is it? There it is. No, it's not. That's it in there. There it is. And there it be. Right, I'll let you have a little quick look in here. Yes, that is the vintage. It's a 10 mil. I've got a couple of them. I've got this crazy ball of Bushu on. Do you mean would quite like the look of that? Um, it's a collector's item. Um, there's the shaker bottle of Bellamy. Zendo Matter number five, if anybody wants to smell that or buy that, because I've got it and I don't like it. Can you fit a little more in there? It's not quite full. I can, but I'm not going to. Um, sorry, but this stuff, this stuff, right? Ferrara Cuvi. <sighs> right. This is fantastic. It reminds me a little bit of Arden Sandalwood, which is a great fragrance. Bright, you will be uh, you will be just on with that forever. But this, this is a lavender fragrance, not even on Fragrantica, right? Can't find this anywhere. Um, bought this a while back in one of my hauls last year. Jason the Dog Catcher. Just wow. Um, how much better is the new chest coming, Richard? Um, so I haven't started to do anything with it yet. I need to put it in position. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this room. Um, I've also got a bottle of Fougere Royale, you're right. Um, I've got something else as well. I have had Roger Egale open before, and I actually gave it to me, mate. Fabulous fragrance, absolutely fantastic. It will, I'll tell you something about that fragrance, right? I've got other stuff that does that. Um, so, and I thought to myself, do you know what? I don't want to keep this fragrance to myself. I give it to my mate, Richie G, um, and he has it now, but I agree with you too. It's really good fragrance, that actually. I paid, paid 18 quid for mine. What a bargain. You know, if I didn't have Muna Diorio's queer, uh, I would have kept it. I definitely would have kept it. So, oh shit, the bed, don't drop it. Do you want to see something else that's outrageous? Vintage Green Natural Cologne. They did, this is 1988. They used to mark when all their bottles came out. This is fantastic. I'd go on a murderous rampage, Bri. It literally says vintage. Yes, it literally it is literally called vintage. And I think that's the front. One of them's the front. Has to be. I have to try that Monodio real quick. Yeah, it's one of the best leathers I own. It's a fucking great fragrance, that. That was another one that was uh, that was put onto by Rob Zoet. Massive influence on my collection. I don't know if you can see, but... There's a lot of influence here from different different YouTubers. Um, Scentland, robes first and foremost. Um, Scentland, um, Eugene, Christo. Crystal's had a huge influence as well. Uh, Eugene, obviously. Um, what is the 80s bottle called which 80s bottle this one this is called vintage groin 
or Gruen natural color. Um, right there, the writing on the side says 1988 Premier Edition. Christo hasn't uploaded in about a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I think he's fed up with the whole YouTube situation. It's not what Christo's saying. If you go back and look at original, Christo's like one of like, he wasn't the original, but he was part of like the second wave. Uh, he came around in like 2011, I want to say. I really miss Christo as well. You just go back and watch all of Christo's videos and they'll be sound. Crystal looks like he hasn't slept in a decade. It's because he never stops looking for vintage perfume. It's by Gruen. I've owned for years. Do you like it? It's definitely like an 80s power. I do like it. Um, I do like it. I have to put these back now. I'm sure you agree. It's not going to be an easy task. Oh, in you go. No, you don't. Just fucking get in there, you bastard. Oh, fucking behave. That's better. What are you? Oh, I know what you are. You're a costume national home. Yes, you are. I will show you something else that is particularly rare as well. Ebony by Barma. A partial. Sometimes you've just got to take a partial, you know what I mean? Sometimes you've just got to take a partial. I showed up just in time for a fragile lunch. You showed up just in time for me to say goodbye, Jeremy. I requested your appearance earlier. And you weren't. You were, you were lacking. You were lacking an appearance. You bitch you. What's this? Aha! Somebody mentioned it before. Good life, Jeremy. Goodbye. Good life. Sorry, was trans was transitioning. You were transiting, were you? Trans was I saying transitioning? Transiting. This is Good Life by Davidoff. It's got like it was a tester, so I just like became with this crazy lid. Good lime fragrance. Good lime fragrance. I like lime in a fragrance. Like Eau de Sud. Eau de Sud's got a lovely lime fragrance in it. Lime note in it, sorry. Um, I'm going to put you back. Uh, what are you? There's there's one of the one of the best. Gucci Envy. That'll come out at some point. Um, I saw some people the other day talking about this. Enigma by Pierre Cardin. Vintage yet again. One of my proudest ones, I'm not going to lie. Vintage Tommy with the white writing. Absolutely buzzing. Someone the other day was asking about this, and this is Kipling. Eau de Toilette. By Ramon Vial. Here is Kenzo Jungle. That fucking horrible scratchy glass on the back. I'll show you another cutter. Someone's been talking to me about this relentlessly. Keeps asking about it all the time. Tiffany for men. I have got it. I just haven't. I don't know what the uh what the um uh the I don't know what the inspiration for the Enigma bottle is. Weird seeing Envy Sands cap seems naked. I don't care to be honest. Um, it's 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 a case of you either get it without the cap, or you don't get it at all. This is Sergio Saldano for men. This is one of the blackest fragrances. This bottle is lifting. But there is my obsession for men spray. Do you think I should use this first or the splash? 
I'm uns uns unsure. It's a mask of a man fencing, that's right. Gianmarco Venturi, one more. Should do a fragrance like that. Ramsey, I'll be watching your video later. There's Tina Cosma. Cosma. This is really nice. Um, got a bottle of something unusual here. Chaps. Not sure how I feel about chaps. All right, chaps. I'm not sure you are all right, chaps. There, I've got me back up with Louis. Russia. Oh, fuck off. Oh, that was a ball of feminine Edward. Do not fuck off. Do not fuck off. Stay. Stay and never leave me. Is that a horror? It is a horror. It is a horror. That's because I couldn't fit it in. Oh. Right, it's two hours and ten minutes now. You always get what you want, don't you? Do I see a Calvin? Probably. Which Calvin do you see, Josiah Sanchez? You see, Ramsey's put money in the bank by going through his fragrances house by house. And that wardrobe must be under tremendous load. Your man's under tremendous load. Um, I have got two Rogers. And I would love nothing more than to part with them. I have Parfum, Cologne, Scandal and Danger. And if anybody wants them, it's 250 for the pair. They're 240 each now. 250 for the pair and they're full. I bought them before I knew what Roger was. Oh... I bought them off a YouTuber who shall remain nameless. I believe they got them for nothing. Thank you, Adam D. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There will be further such sharing. And the, the, there shall be further such sharing later in the channel, in the channel's life. I will always continue to share. Um, two hours and 12 minutes and 20. Seems like a good place to end. My back isn't quite so bad tonight. Mind it couldn't have been as bad as it was last night. So, I think I'm going to go. 45 people watching. 39 thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like I always say, you do not always, you do not have to thumb up the stream. So I appreciate it when people do. Because you don't have to do that. Thank you very much. I shall unprivate the stream as soon as I possibly can. Um, because I don't know why, just when you've got under a thousand subscribers, it just does that. So thank you very much, one and all. It has been a pleasure as always. I shall be making some videos hopefully tomorrow and Friday. Until then, I will see you later. Goodbye.